Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. So uh, in this video, we're going to introduce Dream 7B. So the most powerful open diffusion large language model to date. So the paper just came out, even though the code and model is not released yet, it will be releasing soon. So I'm going to talk about what this model does and how this performs according to the paper. So if you look at the instruction, so this model consistently outperforms diffusion large language models, uh, all the existing ones, and it matches or exceeds top tier AR models and for the similar size on the general math and coding abilities. And then it also demonstrates strong planning ability and inference flexibility. Uh, so if you see the benchmarks uh, diagrams, you can see this Dream 7D diffusion model outperformed the LADA AB, which we're gonna demo in a little bit uh, because this model actually has a demo, so we can try it out. And also it outperformed the Q127B, one two point five seven b which is the autoaggressive model and also Lama 3 8B. So if you see the benchmarks, uh, the Dream 7B is outstanding uh, as a diffusion model. So then you can see all the details here. So you can see the Dream 7B actually has pretty good benchmarks on the ARC and also the uh, GBQA, uh, human evaluation and also the other metrics. So it's pretty good. And so, why diffusion, right? So there's a lot of the question that was uh, raised for the why. So why diffusion for tax congeneration, right? So there's a, a few points uh, that was made in here. So the bidirectional contextual modeling. So then also it has the flexible controllable generation. So this is basically the capabilities arise naturally through the iterative refinement process. So this is actually pretty important for the diffusion LLMs because this is actually related to the remasking. We're gonna talk about uh, a little bit later, but let's go through the paper first. So then it also has potential for fundamental sampling acceleration. So these are all the key significant advantages. So you can see here. And for the other uh, sections you can see they demonstrated the training uh the training is basically um awesome right so the training data spans from the text to math and code and mainly sourced from the doma v 1.7 open coder and dclm baseline and so you can see um they actually pre-trained was done from the 96 nvidia h1 uh 800 GPUs for 256 hours. So you can see from the comparison, uh, basically the AR models, you can see this is actually uh, basically the traditional uh, way to uh, basically do the attention. You can see it's basically auto aggression, right? So basically it's a quadratic time complexity. You have the token to compare with other, other token. And for the diffusion LLM, you can see this is actually using the remasking. So that's uh, basically a concept in the image generation flow. So the remasking, if you actually Google it, so this is actually explained much better. So the remasking, uh, for example, um, so you have a sentence, let's call it the cat set on the mat. And then in the first step, the model might predict there's a mask here, right? So like an image, so there's a different pixels, right? So uh, some pixels are, are being, uh, made as a uh, actual image right image pixel by some like mask so after all the iterations or every step the image got uh, better and better and better so same as the llm so the first mask you can see is actually the set the so you can actually predict uh using the first iteration like that and after that remasking could involve remasking the predicted sat right the SAT, um, so we'll get remasked. So then the next could be the mask and mask and mask the uh, mat, something like that. So um, if it is not confident in the prediction, so basically that's why it is pretty nice because the re-prediction happens at every 
uh, step so you can see it's like the image generation you generate the image through let's say 20 steps so then for the LLM it takes the same approach and remask uh, every prediction so it allows the model to refine it in the next step that's why it's actually really uh, really cool like uh, image generation flow so that's what remasking does um, so let's go back to the paper so this is why the diffusion model it is quite different and also in my previous video i showed you the commercial version which is the mercury coder the first large language model right large uh, language diffusion based lm so feel free to check this out also if you're interested let's go back to the dream 7b so uh in the other section uh, they also mentioned the uh, planning ability. You can uh, read more about it. So, awesome. Uh, you can see from the uh, diagrams, it's pretty good with the planning as well. So, the inferencing flexibility, you can see um, the completion sample and also the infilling uh, sample. So, basically, the completion is like yeah, the ch ch chat, right? So, it's basically. Uh, Say, for example, Janet Docks lays 16 eggs per day. She eats three for breakfast every morning and bakes muffins for her friends every day with four. She sells the remainder at the farmer's market day for $2 per day per fresh duck egg. How much is the, uh, in dollars does she make every day at the farmer's market? So you can see this actually generated a answer. It's like a image generation. And then for the infilling, uh, so say if write a story that ends with uh, finally, Joy and Rachel get married. So you can see, finally, Joy and Rachel get married. So they try to fill this context. So it's so super cool with the inferencing as well, right? So you can see also they have the controlling, the decoding behavior. Uh, so you can uh, also read the uh, quality speed trade-off. So it's also pretty good. And so for this model, it seems to be outstanding. Uh, as from the benchmarks, you can see from here. Uh, it when it came out, I think it's pretty good uh, to test it. Um, it's pretty awesome. And it's open source. So uh, there's two open source right now for the Diffusion LM. One's for Dream 7B. The other one is for LADA 8B. So if you want to try LADA AB, um, you can also go to this uh, REPL, which is the uh, ML GS AI LADA. And it's pretty uh, good documentation. And you can see here's the... Uh, Read the demo. We can access from the hugging phase. Uh, so, all right, run some test. Um, let's uh, run that again. So, here is the paper. Also, you can try the examples that demonstrated in the paper. Um, because this LADA came out earlier than Dream 7B. So, the code, paper, and model are all available. So, you can try that out. It's pretty good. Um, and maybe you can try some of the uh, math questions. Let's, for example, uh, Emma. It says to run four sprints five times a week. She runs uh, 75 uh, meters each sprint. How many total meters does she run a week? Right. So then uh, you can actually just paste this uh, prompt and then go to this hugging phase multimodal uh, art ladder. So the first one I tried is explain what uh, artificial intelligence is. So you can see the answer uh, is uh, basically on the right side. And I also added the five position with the ai right so number five as ai so you can see for the five index five zero one two three four five so this is ai so that's how this uh word uh, constraint works so you can see which position they want to which word so you can actually fill the rest of it so super cool so let's try another one so the uh the one that we actually copied from emma decides to run four sprints five times a week she runs 75 meters each sprint. How many total meters does she run a week? Let's send it. So we don't always oh, still have this uh, word constraints. Let's see what, what the answer is. So you can see the masking, right? Every time they actually mask a different, uh, could have a different uh, mask. So I apologize. As an AI language model, I can not answer that question. Okay, let's remove the mask. Let's try that again. I'll remove the word constraints. Let's try that again. A 
Okay, awesome. So when you remove the word constraint, actually, let's say that generated a image correctly. It's like the image generation. So very cool stuff. Emma runs for sprints each time. So she runs four times 75 equals to 300 meters each time. She runs five times a week. So she runs five times 300, 1500 meters a week. So that's correct. So super nice. And you can try also like the pre recommend me three famous movies. Uh, also the cold generation. Let's try the cold generation. So it's very nice stuff, like super cool. And looks very stable as well. So let's try the scent, see what it responds. You can see the, uh, how the remasking works. So, uh, Sure, I can help you with that. Uh, what's the array you want to sort? Super. Uh, so uh, let's say, for example, let's put it my array. Try here. Let's try that. Okay, so basically it's also correct, even though we actually, uh, I think we'll ask, I'm writing Python code, if I read, please help me sort the large from smaller. So different than the paper, but it makes sense. So, And also, probably they didn't actually use the, generate the code, but they just gave the results. So, But anyway, it's pretty good. I also can tweak the general settings to play around with it. So this is for Lada. I think for the Dream 7B, you can probably, uh, when the model and the code came out, maybe uh, very similar things would be uh, like this one. So, so hopefully this is helpful. If you do like this video, uh, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and see you in the next one.